Welcome to Where There's a Wills, There's a Play. My name's Ian, and today we're rolling through the realms. Sign or sight, however you want to pronounce it. Let's take a look at this realm and go over some clarifications. So in scythe, you mark a number. The top row provides resources. The bottom row costs resources to gain stars. So you'll notice there are all six numbers on the top row and all six on the bottom row. The top row, if you mark a number, you can gain a resource. The bottom row, if you mark a number, you use a resource in order to gain a star. You have to mark the number and the resource. When you Here's the clarification. When you mark a top row number, you may also pay the bottom row cost, bottom row resource at the same time in the same column and mark it to get the star. So you can get this star two different ways. If you mark the top row and you pay the resource, you also gain a resource, a different resource. Or if you mark the bottom row and pay the resource, but you don't gain any resources that way. I'll be honest, this is going to be a little tough to get stars because I'm not going to have very many resources and not going to have resources early. So I'm probably going to have to spend some early um, turns to get some resources so that hopefully I can get something. So I'm, we'll see. I may have to do a little manipulation to show the top row, bottom row connection. But let's get to rolling. One and a three. Ooh. Um, I guess the resources. Of, see, this is a tough one. So I'm going to mark. I'm going to mark the one up top and get myself a coin. So I marked the one and I got a coin. We'll see. This this one could be one of the tougher ones to get any stars in. Two and a three. Well, let's do this. I've got the three, so I'm going to use the three here. So I marked the three and I got the pumpkin. Then I'm going to use this coin. So that worked out quite nicely. I'm going to use the coin to get that star down below. So I used my coin resource that I had. I was able to get a star. So that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. So that kind of shows you how that works. A one and a five. So I've already used the five up there. I do have a pumpkin. So that might be kind of interesting. But I'd rather get myself another resource right now that I can use. So we're going to mark the five on the top row so that I can get that heart because I can then use that later. A one and a two. So if I look down here, the one has a pumpkin associated with it. I do have a pumpkin. I think I'm going to risk one more roll here. I'm going to mark the two up here to get another heart because I've got lots of options in. I do have a pumpkin and I do have two hearts. So lots of numbers I can get some stuff down below. Oh, wait a minute. I just marked this. I just realized I just marked this column. So I can use this pumpkin to get this star. So I actually got myself a second star. So three and a six. Oh, okay. Well, I've got this too. So six gives me a pumpkin. And I've got a heart I can use to get this star. So I marked the six up top. I used a heart and I got this star. A five and a six. All right. Well, here's the other way you can do this. So I'm going to use the five here. So I'm going to mark this five and I do have a heart. So I can use this heart, and I'm going to mark this heart to gain this star. So I gained that star. And I'm just going to circle this. This is stuff I gained. So you can see I gained all those resources that are circled. I gained all the stars, and I, and I used coins and resources on things that I crossed off. Just to keep track. A five and a six again. Well, this one doesn't do me any good, so we're just going to move on to the next roll. A three 
and a five. Once again, doesn't do me any good. All I have is a four, a one, and a four. So a one and a six. Okay, so I do have a pumpkin available, so I can use a one here. I can use this pumpkin here to get this star there. That actually got a lot more stars than I was expecting in nine rolls without being able to use other stuff. I The rolls came out very nicely for me being able to get the resources. So once again, inside, you mark one of the numbers. If you mark a top number, you gain a resource. If you mark a bottom number, you have to spend a resource. You have to spend a resource if you mark a bottom number. Okay? So top row provides resources. The bottom row costs resources to gain the stars. But if you mark a number in the top row, you can spend the resource in the bottom row. You don't have to, but you can to get the star. That was Rolling Through the Realms, Scythe Realm. If you like this tutorial, please hit that like button down below. If you have any comments on it or clarifications, or you saw me make an error on it, because this is one that I always have to really double and triple think about when I play for some reason. Although I think I've got it down now. Um, I hope. Please leave me a comment if you saw any errors. I'll, I'll put a note in the video. Um, and if you like this tutorial and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And this is where there's a will, there's a play. If you like this tutorial, you want to see more content, playthroughs, top lists, and other uh, content, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to see the rest of the base game tutorials, please hit the link that is provided to you. And if you want to see all of the tutorials that have been done so far, please hit the link that is provided as well. Once again, this is where there's a wills, there's a play. My name's Ian, and I'll see you next time at the table.